I'm Hank and this is CBMF. Today I'm doing a quick little review for a new comic book that I, uh, just came out this week that I had a chance to read over. I'm looking at Kill or Be Killed. This is the new series from Image Comics. It's uh, written by Ed Brubaker and drawn by Sean Phillips with colors by Elizabeth Brightweiser. I'm hoping I'm saying her name right. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um... Now, if you're somebody who's read a lot of crime comics, a lot of noir comics, then you probably know who Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips are. Um, the guys have worked together on, God, I want to say dozens of projects at this time. I mean, if you count single graphic novel series, I mean, there's like six volumes of Criminal these guys did together alone. When Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips are working together... Okay, here's my take on it. When Quentin Tarantino puts out a new movie... I go see it in theater. I don't worry about whether or not it's going to be a good movie, because I know it's going to be a Quentin Tarantino movie, and I really love Quentin Tarantino movies. Similarly, when Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips do a comic book together, I just know I'm going to enjoy it. It doesn't matter what it's about, it doesn't matter what the subject matter is, it doesn't matter who the main character is, it doesn't matter if it's sci-fi or fantasy or fucking whatever. If Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips are doing a comic, it's probably going to be one of the best comics I've read. That's just a reputation they have earned by delivering quality projects time and time again. Um, and Killer Be Killed is no exception to that rule. Uh, Killer Be Killed is interesting. I don't think any of us were really expecting what it is. And honestly, even after the first issue, I don't think any of us really know what it is. Um, it's definitely a crime noir book, but there is a bit of a, whether it's a fantasy or a science fiction element, there's something else sort of at the core of it that's driving the story forward. And as of for the first issue, I like that I'm not really sure what's going on. There is a very good chance that this book is a straightforward tale about personal madness. That there's absolutely nothing weird or surreal or sci-fi or strange going on in this story. That we're just watching a man have a nervous breakdown and we're seeing things from his point of view. The flip side of that is maybe shit's all weird and fucked up. Maybe this dude is talking to something that exists outside of himself. I'm not even getting into the details of what this book about. Um, put in its simplest form, um, I'm not sure how much this is a full-on genre yet, but I would refer to Kill or Be Killed as slacker noir. Um, you've got a main character who is kind of a, not necessarily a shitty person, but he's a bit of a lowlife. He seems to just enjoy doing very little with his life. Um, bit of a stoner, bit of a recluse, can't really get his life together, doesn't have anybody who really cares about him, sees himself as being kind of pathetic and uh, seems to be seen by the rest of the characters as being kind of pathetic. But he's also the dude who is wearing a mask and a hoodie at the start of the book and is firing shotguns into motherfuckers and explaining that he has to do it. He has to... What's the title of the book? Kill or Be Killed. That is the purpose of this story. I really enjoyed this book. Um, yeah, the art, the colors, the story, the characters, all of it is very compelling. Um, it was a really quick first issue. You get a lot of characterization and you get a really big action scene. You get some motherfuckers getting shot with shotguns. You get some dudes not really sure about their place in the world. It's good stuff. Um, should you read this book? Probably. Um, if you enjoy, here's the deal. Here is who should be buying Kill or Be Killed by Image Comics, by Ed Brubaker, by Sean Phillips, and by, um, Elizabeth Brightweiser. I'm gonna go with Brightweiser. Um, if you like Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips comics, then you should read this. If you like image comics that are aimed towards an adult audience that have violence and cursing and sexuality, then you should read this book. Um, if you like crime stories, you should read this book. If you like action adventure stories that are a little dark and sinister, you should read this book. If you like mysteries, then you should read this book. Basically, I think 
everybody should read this book. I think the only people who shouldn't be reading this book are people who demand that comics be about grotesquely bodied super people punching brick walls, because there's none of that in this story. Everybody is drawn very human, very realistic, um, and there aren't any superpowers from what I can see. So, uh, so if that's what you need to get off, you're not going to get off on this book. But if you get off on well-told dramatic stories that are a little violent, a little sexual, a little depraved, a little fucking weird, then you'll probably really enjoy Kill or Be Killed. I know I did. So yeah, check it out. I'm Hank, this has been CBMF, and uh, just talking about a comic I enjoyed this week. Totally worth checking out. Kill or Be Killed, from Image Comics, by Brubaker and Phillips, with uh, colors by Elizabeth Breitweiser. Really good stuff. Can't wait to see the rest of it.